Hey everybody, welcome back to my shop. I'm Jeff O'Connor and thanks for joining me on my YouTube channel. If you like to use card scrapers in your work, you are gonna love this new scraper from StuMax. So stick around, I'll talk about how I use it and how I sharpen it. So throughout my woodworking career, I have used card scrapers for a great deal of, of things from removing glue to removing saw marks and so forth. I love card scrapers and I started using them years ago watching David Marks on Woodworks. That's how I first came across these things. Great tools, they have a place in my shop and they always will. However, I came across these new scrapers that are made by a company called Stuart McDonald's, Stumac, and they're quite different and I'll tell you why. So I was in a chair making course and during the chair making course, the instructor also made guitars. So he had a lot of luthier type uh, tools and he turned me on to these. He said, you gotta check out this website and look at these Stumac guys because they make some really cool tools. And throughout the course, I was using these Stumac scrapers to hollow out seats and that, and they're amazing. And they hold an edge, feels like forever with these things. So the biggest difference between this and a standard card scraper is this, the card scrapers are made of spring steel normally. And they're usually, you know, very in thickness, but, but pretty thin in general. And they're kind of meant to be bowed and, and used and, and kind of, they can gouge the work occasionally, but you can get away with not gouging the work as well. They're, they're just flexible and easy to use. However, this is an eighth inch of tool steel, and it's about as hard as your burnisher, so you're not gonna be able to burnish or, or roll your edge like you do with a standard card scraper, and I'm gonna show you how I sharpen these pretty soon. But just to give you an example, with a card scraper, you kinda, you kinda need to tilt it more when you're scraping across the, uh, the wood here. With the Stumac scrapers, you wanna keep them as close to perpendicular as you can. I like to push the scraper, but you can see it gets some really nice shavings coming off that. And you can work for a long time with the edge of this scraper. It's just, a, it's a really, really nice edge. It's a really comfortable fit in your hand. And they come in three sizes. I've got this one, I've got the little guy, which I use in corners in that of, of uh, different, different chair seats and so forth. And then they've got a square one as well. So what I'd like to do is real quick show you how easy they are to sharpen and then get back on the board here and show you a couple techniques. With the Stumac scraper, you have a straight edge on the bottom here. So as you're working across the wood, you're kind of using this as your guide. So if you're actually gonna flatten something, you wanna make sure this is nice and flat. So the first thing I do when I'm sharpening these is I work on that edge a little bit. So I put the scraper flat so I can feel the edge and I just run it back and forth Just emphasizing that straight edge on the scraper itself. Once I've done that, now the idea is to remove the burr that's around this scraper because this is how it's, it doesn't, it doesn't cut with a rolled edge like a standard card scraper does. This cuts with a burr that you create uh, on the grinder. So the next thing I do is I smooth it and this is gonna smooth all the edges I flip it, same thing. Okay, so now as I feel this, the burr's gone. So I've got two nice smooth edges. So the next step now is we're gonna take this over to the grinder and I'll show you how we sharpen it there. Okay, so the next step is to use our grinder here and we're gonna create ourselves a hollow grind on our scraper so we can get a nice cut. What I like to do first is make sure that my grinder is set up properly. So the way you get this hollow ground is to make sure that your, your tool rest is gonna be right in the center of the wheel itself. So what I do is I just put a little mark on here right in the center with my marker, kind of like when you're sharpening turning tools. Turn this guy on, I'm just gonna pop it in there real quick and see what, what it looks like. So as you can see, we're just about perfect there. I'm gonna run it one more time. Yeah, we've got a, we're in a good spot there. So this is set up properly. So the next step is to run our edge on the grinder here. I like to do three or four swipes across to start building that burr, and then I'll go all the way around the scraper. 
This is actually a white made from Stumac. It's a fun little grinder here. It's perfect size for these scrapers. So I'll come across my rest here. Even pressure all the way across. Turn this up a little bit. Okay, I can start feeling a burr now getting created on there. So now what I'm gonna do is start rotating the scraper and getting all the edges sharp because you'll use every edge on the scraper depending on what work you're doing. I saw a video of a guy that could do this all in one long swipe, but I'm not that talented, so I've gotta kinda of stop it and readjust here a little bit. Let's check this for a burr, and it's feeling good. I can feel burr all the way around this guy. So that's as easy as it is to sharpen it. As I bring it back down here on the board, just nice even pressure across the board. Creates really, really nice shavings. Now when you're working figured wood and so forth, you can work in two directions. So sometimes I like to come across in one direction and switch it going across the other direction to get nice flattening motion, or nice flattening of, of the board itself, but great tool. Check out Stumac if you want to upgrade to a, a card scraper that's going to last you for a long time and hold a great edge. Thanks for joining me. My name is Jeff O'Connor, O'Connor Woodworking, and where's Hans at? Here he is. We're going to get rolling, start working, because this wood ain't going to work itself, guys. Thanks for joining us.